Hey everybody, Julie Burke here. How's it going? Let me get situated. I know it's a bit early for me to come on live. Uh, usually I come in the afternoon, but I have to take my dog to the doctor. So I'm, um, and then I have to come home and work on um, a big project. So here I am. Happy Monday morning, everybody. I know Mondays could be a little bit of a downer for some people, but hopefully this will this will lift you up. So as you guys are tuning in, um, sorry, I have my I know I have my um, cleaning lady here, and I'm hearing like this ju ju ju. Anyway, she's dusting my blinds. Um, and it scared the heck out of me for a second there. So as you guys are, t- are are tuning in, drop me a comment. Let me know where you're tuning in from. I am here in Chicago. If you are new to who I am, my name is Julie Burke. Um, I'm a network marketer. I own my own training company. I do coaching, uh, mentoring. Um, I, I create um, products to help network marketers uh, build their businesses. And basically, I just help... Um, home-based business owners really just bring their business online because I'm going to tell you right now, I was a busy mom and just a busy parent. Um, everyone wants to call me when I do a live, sorry, as a busy parent, you know, um, there's, and a busy business owner, there's, there's times in my life and, and maybe you can agree, um, where I feel like life is spinning out of control and I spend all day working on my business, but at the end of the day, I don't even recall what I did. Okay. I, I, again, I don't know if you guys can relate. So this is kind of what I'm going to be talking about today. Um, real briefly, I'm just going to give you three tips. Um, my top tips that have really helped keep me on track and maybe they can help you too. All right. So real quick, let's see. Hey, Vanessa. Hi, Kim. Hey, Tiffany, how you guys doing? Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Yes, I'm on a little bit earlier than normal. I'm usually on later in the afternoon. I don't have a set time, unfortunately, um, but that's why you want to make sure that um, you go to following on my page here and in the drop down box, you click on see first. Okay, super important. So when I do go live, you get the uh, you get to see me first in your feed because let's face it, the feed is obnoxious, right? There's just like way too much stuff in the feed. <laughs> um, so you have to push aside all the unnecessary stuff and get to the good stuff, all right? So I wanna respect your time this morning. Like I said, I have to get to um, uh, the doctor with um, my doggy. She's fine, she had an ear infection, so we have to do like a follow-up appointment. All right, so um, like I just said, there's some days where I could be working on, um, in the, in the past, I've gotten much better where at the end of the day, I'm like, oh my gosh, what did I just do? Right. Especially during the summer, I shared this story recently where, um, I have to have my kids out of the house because we have a home-based business. Okay. And I cannot work at home with my kids being home. Now, I don't know if any of you full-time at-home parents out there that are building your business could relate to what I'm saying because kids could be a distraction and we have to try and eliminate a distraction. Like, we love our children, yet they are a distraction for um, our business. Hey, Doris, how are you? And so, um, yeah, if you're new to me as well, I, 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 for, I usually always say this. If you're new, um, just drop me a comment below and just say uh, new. And I'm going to personally give you a shout out and say hello. And also, if you're watching the replay, uh, put in hashtag replay, okay? All right. Um, and so I shared this story over the summer. Basically, um, we, I have two boys, Austin and Landon, and I was taking them to uh, camp. And Landon's my little one. Austin's my older one. He was going through this really difficult time from being separated from me. And, you know, he's, uh, he's seven. And so... I'm going to tell you, uh, I felt numb as he was sitting and crying and I just felt like I had like this really, really heavy heart. And so, um, I share that with you because an entrepreneur road, or I guess our journey as an entrepreneur, it's, it's not easy. And if you're in network marketing and even if you're new to network marketing, I want you to understand, um, you have to believe and feel that you're building a big business because you are. 
don't treat it like a hobby because if you treat it like a hobby, then um, you're not going to get paid really well, right? You're not going to build this and grow this big team. And maybe you don't want to. Maybe you just want to create a couple extra hundred dollars a month and there's nothing wrong with that. That's awesome. Um, but if you're in it for the big business, then you're going to really be hustling. Like there's a lot of work that goes into building a successful team. There's a lot of work that goes into building a successful online business, whatever it is that you do, a successful coaching business, whatever the business is, it takes a lot of work. Um, I could think back on my journey moving into the online space the past year and I feel like where did this year go? Like I'm not even joking. I created uh, three products. I'm on my fourth product. I created additional three six-figure income streams in the matter of um, all under eight months. And then I switched network marketing companies. And now I'm building a new team there. Um, I was forced out a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to get into that. But you know what? It happens. And it happened for a reason. I'm much, 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 much happier because I'm building my network marketing business 100% through utilizing Facebook. I have to leverage myself, right? And I want to help my team leverage themselves because we're all busy parents, right? That's the majority of the people that are, you know, my target market is in that are attracted to me are parents. Okay. So here I am, I'm sitting there and watching my son crying um, and I'm leaving him at camp, right? And so you better believe I did not come home and surf the internet or surf Facebook or what have you. Um, I got busy, right? And, and, and there's, going to be episodes like this throughout your life where you're going to have a bad day. You're going to have a day that's down and not so much up. And that's totally cool. You guys give yourself some space. Um, you have to, I recently had something come up with, I was being challenged to think about the direction of where I want to go with my business. And I'll be honest, I didn't know. I felt part of me was burnt out and part of me was just unsure and unclear and I didn't have that clarity. And so I took really two weeks off. Um, I still showed up and did Facebook Live, but really I was just taking time with me and with my kids, okay? So sometimes we just need that. We need to give ourselves that, that space um, because like I said, a road of an entrepreneur is not necessarily uh, an easy one. Then there's a time where you might smash a goal. Like you might get to that goal and you're like running and hustling and hustling and running and then you didn't allow yourself time to celebrate it. Like you're already moving on to the next one. Like you have that, like what is called, I call a what's next syndrome. I've been there too. I've hit many goals, many goals that I get there and I'm like already done with it and I'm moving on to the next instead of really like uh, celebrating it, right? So again, these are just little things that um, I have learned to, to shift in my life that um, when you set a goal and don't set this big audacious goal, just set a goal that you want to achieve that's attainable within the next couple of weeks, hit it and celebrate it. Okay. So I'm going to go back to now what I'm going to give you the three tips about, uh, creating, um, more time for you. Does that sound good? Do you guys want to create a business? Um, but really like you're unclear on the, like three things that you need to focus on or do. Okay. Drop me, drop me a one if that's you. All right. So here's number one. You have to have a really, really rock solid plan, um, to execute what you're going to do. Okay. Like we talk about vision a lot and that's okay if you, you're like stuck on or unclear about your your vision and where that necessarily means, or, you know, some people, they cry because of their why you guys, I don't cry because of my why. So don't feel like you have to have that why that like really, really moves you. It could be simply that you just want to be home with your children. It could be simply that you just want to pay off that car payment, whatever it is to you. Um, you have to create it and create a plan around it. And then what you need to do is you need to reverse engineer it. So if you know that you want to create $500 a month, what do you need to do that month to hit it? Like you need to figure that out and then work back, work backwards. Okay. So does that mean reaching out to, um, two, three new people a day? Um, does that mean doing or showing, um, the presentation four times that week? And I'm going to tell you right now, it doesn't mean in person, you guys, like I don't do anything in person. 
It could be just simply, you know, adding them to a group, tagging them to a video, sending them a, a link to watch, whatever it is, just getting the presentation in front of somebody. All right. So what I do when I wake up in the morning, um, or actually what I do before I go to bed at night, the night before is number one, I actually plan out the three top three, maybe for you, it's top one or top two for me, it's top three. I'm running four businesses of, um, like the most important things that I need to get done in that day. Okay. Because that's going to help you eliminate the chaos the next morning. So when I wake up in the morning, I do not look at my phone. I don't go to Facebook. I don't do anything in the morning. Okay. I am taking care of my kids. So my day usually starts around 10 o'clock. All right. And I know I have four hours, solid hours to work. Now this is just my day. So what is my number one, like, Either the thing I don't want to do or the thing, most important income producing activity I have to get done. I do that first. That's it. Okay. If I can't get to number two and number three that day, because number one's taking up some more of my time, I have to be okay with that. So you have to be okay with knowing that you're not, things aren't going to be perfect. You're not going to get everything done possibly. Um, For the longest time, I was like really hard on myself and Um, you guys, I'm going to tell you right now, even like yesterday, I had some stuff going down this weekend with some of my, my funnels, my, my things going wrong. And yesterday, you guys, Sunday's family day around here. And and I don't know what it is for you, but it's family day here. And I was in the office and the kids came in and they're like, mom, you know, you're coming outside playing football with us. Um, and then we were going to an apple orchard. And like, honestly, I just had to say, you know, what it, what is what is meant to be will be, right? I have to have this time with my kids. And so I feel often that we lock ourselves in the bathroom, we lock ourselves in the closet. You guys, I've done all of it, locked myself in the office. And um, if you can't get to everything that day, that's okay, come back to it later. You know, this is why at night after my family goes to bed, it's like when I get the most important stuff done to tell you the truth, because it's quiet. And I actually have a lot of great clarity at night. So you start testing, start like paying attention and journaling. Do I work really well in the morning? Do I work really well in the afternoon? Like chunk it down, work for 45 minutes and give yourself a five minute break. Then another, you know, 30, 40 minutes, give yourself a five minute break. Okay. And just start paying attention to when you have your most clarity and when you are at your top, um, with producing, um, whatever it is, like whether you're doing reach outs, producing content, you know, creating something to do a video with, whatever. Um, Okay, number two, this has been really huge. So I take my phone and I put it on um, silent or like a do not disturb or airplane mode. And then I'll set like a timer in my office. So I, like I said, you're best at working in about 40 minute, 30 to 40 minute chunks, okay? you could even get the stuff done in 15 to 20 minute chunks. I'm going to tell you that right now. I've done that as well. I have also done the grindstone freaking five hours straight that I got nothing done because I was totally burnt out. I do not recommend this, you guys. I do not recommend that, okay? Um, so set the timers and turn, close out the windows, turn the phone on do not disturb, okay? Nothing has got to be that important for the 30 to 40 minutes. If you cannot do it, totally fine. Just get your phone out of sight, out of mind, and close down the stuff on your desktop as well and just focus on what you need to be focusing on. And if you're in Facebook, like I'm saying, set the timer because you could get seriously sideswiped inside of Facebook, all right? And then um, third, and probably this is, you guys will want to punch me through the phone for this, but... (laughs) Because I really hate this statement because when it's said to me, I've been so many times like, ah, you got to be kidding me. But third is um, uh, be patient, right? Be patient. So what does that mean? Well, you have to understand that this is a work in progress, right? Um, So for instance, if you're not going, you're not going to learn everything in one day. If you're trying to learn online marketing, hell of hallelujah, I praise you. Like I've been trying to learn online marketing. And what I mean by that is the whole thing with Facebook ads and sales funnels and all the way through (laughs) creating content. You guys, that 
absolutely does not happen overnight. I'm not going to lie to you, it does not happen overnight. Building out a fan base on your fan page does not happen overnight. I had to have a lot of patience. I had a lot of, have a lot of patience with sales models. I have to have a lot of patience when it comes to building out, um, when it came to building out my fan page. Um, I have, have a lot of patience when it comes to building out network marketing. Now it comes easier because I've been doing attraction marketing and people know, like, and trust me, and now they, like, want to join my company. Literally, that's why I, I talked about attraction marketing today um, in my email. If you are subscribed to my list, you want to check out attraction marketing formula because th those are the first stages I've learned about attraction marketing, okay? Um, so now every day people are like, I mean, every single day, what company are you with? How do I join? Like, again, people don't join companies. They join you every single time. That's why I don't even talk about product. I don't even really talk about the features. I don't talk about, or you're never really supposed to talk about features. I mean, I don't really even talk about the benefits of the product. I don't have to sell. Um, and so that did not come overnight. This is what I'm saying. You have to be patient with yourself. Um, and sometimes it takes taking a step back to really get a bird's eye view of what you really want of that like bigger picture moving forward, okay? Are you on the path you really wanna be on? I mean, I challenge you to answer that question. Where do you see, like seriously, these are the things that were just recently asked me, like where do you see your business in a year from now doing what you're doing now? Like, do you want that? Is that where you wanna be? And if not, you need to change, you need to shift your focus. Okay, and as we know what focus on grows. Now I'm not completely focused on building my network marketing business because my focus is divided. If my focus was strictly on building my network marketing business, you better believe that I've, I mean, I just started the new business at the end of May. I'm already have over 100 business builders on my team. It's amazing and I haven't even gone public with it. But you better believe if I put my focus there, I would be running like my butt was on fire, okay? But it's not because it's divided right now and that's okay. And I have to be okay with that and my team knows that. I verbally talk to them about it. Like they understand that. But it doesn't mean that I don't I, I don't love building network marketing. I love it because especially we're utilizing Facebook, okay? But I have to be patient with growing my different my different um, businesses. As you, whether you're building one or multiple businesses, you have to be patient and if you know if you had any t su success, you know um, that patience is a big part of it and so is mindset, okay? And so allow yourself that time. Like I'm giving you permission um, to ease up, all right? And take your pet, you, you know, sometimes you got to take your foot off the gas to then move forward, okay? So just be kind to yourself. So again, my top three tips um, are, you know, just you know, getting really clear on that rock solid vision and the plan, reverse engineer it and, and really focus on your top one to three income producing activities each and every day. So this way you don't feel winded. And I'm going to tell you my day ends at 3.30 when that child gets off the bus <laughs> um, until, you know, well after dinner time. Okay. I get my stuff done four to five hours during the day, but I chop up the four to five hours. So I'm not going straight, right? I might get up, go take a walk, I might get up, go have lunch, get up, go to Starbucks and get a coffee. Do you know what I'm saying? So you have to chop it up so you're not going straight. All right, um, and then number two was um, setting, uh, shutting down everything and focusing on what you're supposed to be focusing on and set a timer, okay? And then uh, number three, of course, be patient, you guys. So if you found value in this, I gotta run. I actually am going to be late now for the vet, but that's okay, because I got to hang with all of you guys this morning. Um, if you found value, you guys, please share it. And um, hey, Amanda, how are you, sweetie? Hi, t oh, let me see who else is on here. Hey, guys. Hey, Whitney. What's up, Kelly? Kelly, 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 I miss you. I love you. All right, guys, listen, if you found value, drop me a two. And um, I look forward to seeing you all in the next training. All right, bye for now. Oh, and real quick. I'm just going to mention this and I'm really, I have to hop off. Um, I have a, um, like a micro course, like a mini course. It's really digestible and it's my five top tips to your, um, 
your ick and producing power hour. It's basically how I strategize and like what I actually do in 15 to 20 minute chunks throughout the day. Um, it's like, I, it's like a $37 product. If you want that, just drop me a message or message me privately or just drop yes below and we'll get you the link and you could just check it out. Um, I'm not going to post the link above this video or anything like that. So if you do want it, it's called um, my five steps to your multiple six figure empire. And it's literally what I focus on for building my network marketing business. Okay. So if you would like that, drop me a yes. Um, all right, guys, I have to hop off. Everyone have an awesome day. Bye.